is just so muggy. And uh, yeah, Kristen's right. The humidity is sky high. Here's the max track. Here's the warm front. So yeah, we're south of this boundary. We are entrenched in a warm and just tropical air mass here. Now there is a severe threat for today. Don't want that to get lost in the shuffle, though. Notice where it is. It's primarily up north. There's going to be a complex of storms, severe storms that dive south. We may catch a few of those in the formative stage later on this afternoon. You can see that round just getting going by mid to late afternoon and a few of those storms grazing our northeastern counties. But across Ohio, that's where it's likely going to really hit. So from Columbus, John Driving down towards Charleston, West Virginia overnight could have a uh, wide ranging uh, storm that could cause quite a bit of damage as far as the straight line winds are concerned. So yeah, close to home, but not quite. Our big story, of course, is yeah, the heat and humidity that we were just talking about. So as far as that's concerned, we've got the next three or four days of it before things finally back off into the weekend. It's already in the upper 80s to low 90s. That's just the temperature. Now the dew point, that's an indication of how much mugginess there is out there. The higher the dew point temperature, the muggier it is. And when you're in the 70s, that is some swampy air. You can feel it out there. And uh, of course, you factor in the heat. You get the heat index, what it feels like. It feels like it's 102 in Lexington. You've got a 106 heat index, uh, and the heat indices are just on the high end pretty much across the board until you head out to the mountains where we did have a few showers and storms blow through early this morning. What's happening is we've got this big summery dome of high pressure. You hear it referred to as sometimes a heat dome. That's essentially what it is. It clamps down, keeps things stagnant, and just doesn't allow much beyond the heat and humidity to build. So by tomorrow, look what's happened. It's pretty much shifted right overhead. So that storm chance that we have clipping our northeastern counties, even that's going to go away, and we are just going to be stuck in the soup pretty much the rest of the work week. All these different colors are indications of advisories and warnings. You've got an excessive heat warning. Western Kentucky includes Paducah, a heat advisory here, an excessive heat watch from the National Weather Service out of Wilmington, our northern counties. So we're all under uh, this heat advisory. Just expect that the heat index, what it feels like, is going to be in that about 100 to 110 range at the peak heat of the afternoon pretty much each day going forward. This shows the current uh, this shows the uh, forecast for the heat index and as we take into Tuesday, of course, drops off overnight as we cool down and then tomorrow. Look at that. We're right back in the thick of it. This is dangerous for folks that work outside and especially being the fact that it's our first heat wave of the season. Uh, you know, you get a couple under your belt, you handle it a little better, you're ready for it. This is the first one, so just take it easy. Uh, forecast highs and record highs pretty much match. That's how hot it is. We could likely um, see some at least ties as far as record highs go, if not some uh, new records set in spots. And today we're going to edge into the low 90s. We're already in the upper 80s. So that's not far to go. It's hot. It's steamy. We'll keep an eye out for those few strong to potentially severe storms. If they clip our northeastern counties, it'd be a couple of hours into the afternoon. Pretty, pretty much north of I-64 and then out into eastern Kentucky, something that bears watching. A lot of folks shouldn't be impacted. 70s overnight, so we don't cool off much, and tomorrow we're right back in the thick of it. Look at that, mid-90s, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then here comes a cold front. Now, it doesn't look like this boundary will do a whole lot as far as precipitation goes, but after a few showers and storms Friday or Thursday, I think it will cut the heat and the humidity Friday, so that should effectively end the heat wave just in time for the weekend.